St. Edward Catholic Church was established as a parish community in the 1890s. At that time, Shelton was a vibrant logging and fishing town. The small Catholic population welcomed traveling priests from Seattle and Olympia to celebrate Mass in their homes. A wood-framed church was built in 1898, but the parish had no resident priest until 1935. A new brick church was built in 1931, and this served the community for decades. But by the late 1990s, the congregation had outgrown it. In the 1950s, the parish wanted to build a school, but was thwarted by the city's refusal to issue a building permit. For most of their history, St. Edward parishioners were served by the monks of St. Martin's Abbey. The priests would row across the bay to celebrate Mass. This was the easiest way to reach Shelton, a journey that took a few hours or more compared with the 30 minutes it takes today. The first Arsacism pastor after many decades of monks was Father Ron Belial, who built the present church, office building, religious education center, and hall in 2008. Father Paul Keck followed him until his sudden death last October. St. Edward community still feels the grief of his loss. There are 1,100 households in the parish and a thriving Hispanic and Guatemalan Mayan community. These are our sisters and brothers whom we are privileged to journey with into the future. St. Michael began as a mission in the 1840s and became a parish in 1875. Next year, we will celebrate our 150th anniversary with exciting events throughout the year. Over these 150 years, there have been four permanent church buildings, plus the West Side Chapel, and a parish school that is now almost 75 years old. Presently, St. Michael Parish has over 2,350 families, with more than 7,000 parishioners. We have offered perpetual adoration for over 20 years. Our combined parish and school budget for next year is $7 million, supporting over 80 full or part-time employees. Additionally, more than 800 volunteers serve our parish in various capacities. When my fellow priests ask me, what is most important about St. Michael Parish, I always answer, the parishioners. Yes, each one of you is what makes St. Michael Parish so vibrant and alive. Thank you, and may God bless you, and peace be with you. St. Michael the Archangel, pray for us. St. Edward the Confessor, pray for us.